Okay, it's nearly Christmas guys and all the companies are pouring out their holiday releases whether it's beauty or whether it's toys or or just whatever and I am here for it. I absolutely love holiday releases and today I want to talk to you about beauty holiday releases and what it was that I was thinking about picking up and I still just might. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. G'day guys, welcome to ENR Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And as I said before today, I want to talk to you about beauty related holiday releases and what it was that I was thinking about picking up. Now I've got to be honest with you, the last two years, the options have been a little bit mundane, a little bit, you know, underwhelming I guess. Um, nothing really been jumping out at me that I wanted to purchase. I don't know whether that was because of my mind or whether just holiday releases weren't as good because of, you know, the dreaded COVID. But whatever, I digress. Today, I want to talk to you about 10 things that I've been thinking about picking up. Um, yeah, I still think that the choices are a little bit dismal this year, but these are things that sort of caught my eye and um, I really did consider picking these things up. So let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that I was thinking about picking up is this fresh sugar hydrating lip value set. This is a six piece um, and yeah, I when at first look, I was like, yes, I want this. I wanted to try all of the flavors or scents, whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't realize that it was only in Sephora. Um Dot com so it is $45 US and sort of that made me take a step back and consider the fact that maybe it wasn't going to be as cheap. I think that um, works out to be oh, maybe um, a little over $10.50 per lip balm but if I was to add uh, postage on top of that I think it would just be pushing it just a little bit too much um, cost wise like I don't want to spend that much you know. Um, but yeah, I think the packaging was absolutely beautiful. It really did pull me in. They did a good job there and I really do want to try these. So in that set, if you are interested, they have the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment Balm. They also have the Sugar Rose Lip Balm, which has SPF 15. They have the Sugar Petal Lip Balm, which has SPF 15. The Sugar Honey Lip Balm, which has SPF 15. Uh, the Sugar Icon Lip Balm, which has SPF 15. And the Sugar Mint Rush refreshing lip treatment which doesn't have SPF in it. Um, for Australia, uh, look, <laughs> SPF 15, it's really not that much is it? But I guess it's better than nothing but I would have really have liked to see that SPF just be bumped up just a little bit more um, for Australian standards but I think this is a fantastic kit and um, yeah I really did consider getting it but I'm not going to unfortunately because I just don't think the cost wise is going to work out for me the way that I want it to. So let's move on to the next one. The next holiday release that I was considering picking up and I really considered it, really, really considered it, is the Pharmacy Garden Party Clean Green Clean Trio. Now I have tried Pharmacy very, very recently. It was the Sweet Apple, it's right up here, um, Cleansing Mum, and I love the shit out of this guys. I recommend it 100%. And so when I saw this, I thought, <laughs> Yeah, I want to get this, right? Once again, it's Sephora.com. Uh, it's in America and it's $42 US. And if I was to put postage on top of that, it's getting a little bit out of my price range that I feel comfortable spending. Um, yeah, so, and these, you know, they really do have some interesting um, scents, flavours, whatever you want to call it. So the first one is in Strawberry Basil. These are cleansing balms, by the way, if I didn't say that. So there's Strawberry Basil, Lemon Mint, and peach thyme. They are very unique and I would love to have smelled these in store. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really, really cute pack. And if you've got someone who love cl loves cleansing balms, I think this would be a perfect little gift for them. And I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not going to be picking this up because I really do like the product and I'm really intrigued by the scents. So yeah, there you go. It is what it is. Let's move on to number three. Number three on my list is the Tatcha award-winning favorites from mecca.com.au. This is $85 Australian, and I know it sounds like a lot, but you know, it's got the water cream in it, the liquid silk canvas, and the Kiss Lip Mask. Now, the liquid silk canvas is already expensive on its own for a full size. Um, so when I saw this, I thought, yeah, it definitely is value for money. And I really, 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 really wanted to try the liquid silk canvas. That's really the only reason why I wanted to make this purchase. And I'm still considering it. Um, <laughs> the other two things are just a bonus, something that I'd be able to try, um, and just, you know, tick off my, um, I've tried it list. But yeah, so look, guys, 
I don't really use primers. They've not really been good for me in the past and I guess I haven't really tried a higher end um, one, not one that's ex as expensive as this, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, Teresa is Dead talks a lot about this and I respect that girl, you know? Um, <laughs> I really do want to try this. I I feel like it could really work for me, but $85 is a lot of money to spend on a maybe. So I think, I think I'm probably not going to pick this up, even though I really, really want it, and try and find like a, a small sample size or a mini or something like that so I don't feel like I'm wasting my money if the product doesn't work out for me. But um, yeah, I'm really, really intrigued by this and it really pulled me and I, I had to convince myself so hard not to purchase this. But anyway, let's move on to the next product. Number four on my list is the Mario Badesco Glow Essentials Kit from Mecca.com.au, which is $21. And I think this is definitely value for money. That's $21 AU, by the way. Um, look, when I first saw this, I'm like, ooh, a kit from Mario Badesco. I love these guys. So, But then I sort of took a bit of a step back because I noticed that it was sort of like rose water and scent, uh, scented or uh, infused, I guess. And... Look, I love the smell of fresh roses, but I don't really like the scent rose in my products, right? Um, but there has been some products that have had rose water in it that I'm not sort of disgusted by <laughs> um, or put off by. And so, I don't know, I am still considering this one. It's got rose water um, in a lot of it and vitamin E. So we've got the face spray with aloe herbs and rose water. We've got the rose hand cream with vitamin E. We have the rose lip balm and the rose body soap. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I wish this kit was anything but rose water um, or rose infused, and I would have, in a heartbeat, I would have picked it up. But I don't know about this. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit on the fence. I wanna. I should just pull the trigger and get it. You know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you reckon, guys. I don't know. But anyway, look. I think this was a nice little kit. I think this would be definitely special to pick up to give someone as a gift, um, especially someone who does love rose water. And um, yeah, it's just it's value for money and it's convenient. So that's why it was on my list and I'm still considering it. I'm just, I'm just not sure yet. Let's move on to the next thing. Number five on my list is the Frank Body Buff Love Kit from mecha.com.au. This is $19.95. And actually, I think this is quite a cute little gift. I think it's another one that you could gift a friend or a secret Santa or something like that. This has 100 grams of the original coffee scrub, which I really do want to try, and 100 grams of the Buff marshmallow body scrub which i think is cute right I, if it smells like marshmallows I, yeah I, i'm here for that anyway uh it says the body smoothing duo ensures dry rough skin is toast in no time at all the kit of mini frank body favorites features an iconic original coffee scrub and the brand new cream based buff marshmallow body scrub sweetly infused with a sub sub Subtle? <laughs> Subtle fairy floss scent to add a delicious note to bath time. There you go. Bit of a tongue tie there, excuse me. I want this. Um, I'm not going to lie. $10 per thing? Hmm, yeah. I don't know. I think it's worth it. I definitely think it's worth it. And I, I probably will pick this up. Um, ooh, I'm thinking about maybe picking two up and gifting it to somebody special. I'm not sure. I will let you know if I do get any of these in a future video, but yeah, I'm really considering this one. I think it's cute. I think it's definitely cute, and uh, I think it's a good gift for a girlfriend or a work colleague or, as I said, a secret Santa, a relative, an aunt. Who knows? <laughs> Let's move on to number six, which is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Universe from mecha.com.au. You can also get this from um, sephora.com. This is $114.00. AU and mm, I'm on the fence about this guys like I look at the palette it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and I've been wanting to get one of these for a few years now um but I haven't because of the price I uh, shit you not the price is the only reason why I haven't picked this up um before I heard the reviews so the reason why I'm on the fence I was down to buy this this year prepared and then I read the reviews and mm, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced. I do love the colours, um, but they're saying that it's just not, it's, it's not up to scratch. There's, apparently there's chunks of glitter in it. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know. 
I don't want to spend all this money and be disappointed. That's that's the main reason why I actually don't purchase things that I really, really want, <laughs> is worrying about the price and whether um, I'm going to love it or not. So hmm. anyway, it includes five shades, which is the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder, the um, Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush, which is new, the Ambient Lighting Blush in Luminous Rose, uh, the previous one was Vibrant Heat, sorry, um, which is new, the Ambient Lighting Bronze, which is new in Glistening Bronze Light, and the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder, which is new in Supernatural Strobe Light. So yes, I, I really do want to try this, I just don't want to spend that much money, um, it, and it is a limited edition I believe, so, um, oof, I don't know. It definitely pulls me in. Like, I definitely want to try this. I should give it a go. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But anyway, you know what? Let's move on to the next one, which is number seven, which is the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette from Mecca.com.au. This is $84 Australian. And I really want this. I've never tried um, blushes or actually really I haven't tried any sort of uh, powder products from NARS. And I really want this. Um, I really do. I think this is, it's a little bit more money than I want to spend on a face palette and I'm worried that I won't use everything in it, like I'm, that's why I'm not sure, you know, um, but anyway, it has Nude Revenue, uh, Spin Off, High Demand, Hit It Off, Showdown and Just Lust. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's read what it says. It says that it's a holiday themed cheek palette featuring six limited edition shades in one of NARS's most innovative formulas made for all skin tones. These flattering shadows allow you to come to a highlight and pop with natural looking dimension. The innovative lightweight powder base achieves maximum color clarity. It builds effortlessly and blends seamlessly into skin, revealing color in its truest, most vibrant form, all in one convenient palette. Interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do here, guys. I really, really want this. I should have put it on my wish list for somebody to purchase. It's too late now. I'll think about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's very pretty. It's very hard to say no to this one. Anyway, let's move on. The next thing on my list is also from NARS. This is the Unwrapped Afterglow Lip Balm Duo from Mecca.com.au. This is $41 for the two. And it comes in the Afterglow Lip Balm Fast Lane, which is a full size, and the Afterglow Lip Balm Dolce Vita, which is a mini. This is nice. It looks pretty. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick this up, but I do like the convenience of being a duo. Um, I think it would be pretty. I'm just not entirely sold on how often I would use it. Um, because I do have some, um, you know, lip balms that are very similar. I've still got a Fenty one, um, gloss bomb that I'm, uh, going through at the moment that looks very similar to this, so I'm not sure whether I should really pull the trigger on this one. I do like it, though. I really do like it. But, um, this was one of the ones that I was also on the fence with. What do you reckon, guys? It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to number nine, which is... I can never say this properly. Laneige um, All Nighter Lip Sleeping Mask Set. Uh, this is also a limited edition. So it has three scents or flavours, whatever you will. And one is the Lip Sleeping Mask, the other is the Berry Lip Sleeping Mask, and the other one is a Ginger Snap Lip Sleeping Mask in Peppermint. Okay, so that's interesting. Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap. Is is ginger snap peppermint? Okay, that's interesting. I, I, I'd like to smell that one. Anyway, it says that this lip trio is designed to give you soft, supple lips. All Night features cult classic lip sleeping mask berry plus two mini size of the new limited edition Sweet Scents Peppermint and Ginger Snap. Interesting. Okay. Um... Simply apply the sleeping mask when you're going to bed for smooth lips. So this is $44 for the three. When I first saw this, I really, really wanted it um, until I saw that Ginger Snap Peppermint one, and then I was like, eh, I don't know about that. I really do want to try this brand, their lip sleeping masks. I have heard lots of good things about it. I'm just not sold on that last scent flavour. Um, yeah, yeah, what do you guys reckon? Now, the 10th holiday set or release that was on my list 
actually hasn't been released and I'll tell you why and I'm disappointed and the reason why I want to talk to you about it. So, Hourglass every holiday until now normally bring out confession lipsticks. They bring them out on Valentine's Day, they bring them out on Christmas Day and for a couple of years now I've been wanting to pick them up but they're expensive and the um, Valentine's Day ones were just a little bit too red for me um, so I knew that I was going to have to wait until Christmas to be able to pick some up but they haven't released them and I'm really pissed off so um, I wanted to get the ones last year I couldn't afford it um, last year was a pretty bad year for me financially and so I was already I was ready this year to make a big hourglass order I was going to get the hourglass um, uh, universe palette which I already spoke to you about and I was gonna get the confession lipsticks and I was really gonna try hourglass this year I mean not that I haven't tried hourglass I do have a couple of their powders but I don't have any of their blushes I don't have any of their highlighters I just thought it'd be nice and I've never tried the confessions lipstick so I am very very disappointed hourglass that you haven't brought them out this year I want to know why I demand to know why and I really do hope that they bring them out next year I'm just bummed that I'm going to have to wait until either Valentine's Day or December again before I I can purchase these um they still might bring them out who knows i am revved up i'm here for it release them release them but don't leave it too long guys come on anyway i love these things and i do want to pick some up and i am eventually going to buy some unfortunately the main shade that i wanted to buy was a limited edition and i can't get that one anymore so i really do hope they bring that one back i can't remember which shade it was but it's the one that i really do want to try and um yeah, so look, I mean, those 10 sets that I was talking to you about in this video, they're okay, right? But they're not like, they're not as in your face exciting as some of the holiday releases used to be. Um, yeah, the last couple of years have really, really been boring. Um, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know whether it's because everyone's had to work from home. Um, everybody sort of dropped the ball or whether they thought that we weren't going to be wearing them because of face masks. I don't know, but I'm disappointed. And um, hopefully next year is going to be a better year for holiday releases. I really do hope so, um, especially for Hourglass. Um, and yeah, even um, Too Faced. Too Faced normally bring out some um, special lipsticks towards the end of the year as well. And I haven't really seen that much from them either. I mean, they've released a couple of things, but not like they normally do and so that's a little bit disappointing but anyway guys that's it for this video I really would like to know if there was anything that you had your eye on this year um, and whether or not you picked it up or whether you're going to uh, yeah so chat below if you want to guys and if not I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>